Oh wow. I mean wow this color corrector has definitely worked. I mean, wow. Look great don't they? So this alternative is a thumbs up for me as well. You can definitely try it. Welcome back to my channel once again and if you're new to my channel then welcome to my channel my name is Hala Masood and I make educational beauty videos so I'm here with another one of my color correction alternative videos I've already made two parts of them and it will be uploaded in the description box below so you can go ahead and check it out so this is going to be the third part of the color corrector alternatives so what does this video contain let's find out Without further ado, let's begin with this video. So now you do have dark circles obviously, but orange color corrector gets too dark for your skin tone. So what do you do? You need a peach color corrector. So do you go and buy it? No, you can make it yourself actually. All you need is some old unused eyeshadow palette that has some kind of orange or peach in it. I have this eyeshadow palette which is by Makeup Academy, uh, MUA Makeup Academy and it has a lot of like oranges peaches so i am going to use this so how are you going to use this what i'm going to do is that i'm going to find a color that is kind of my skin tone like for me i will try i will go with this orange over here this is the darkest orange in the palette i will go with this one you can take this one uh, this is a uh, an orange this is a peach you know whichever suits you and you can add it according to how much you want okay so i will go ahead with this dark one so the next step is that i have already taken my eyeshadow palette as i showed you with all the peaches and the oranges and everything so now i'm going to take this spoolie okay this is a spoolie that comes with mascara like this is a mascara wand you can say that uh, but if you don't have that extra like lying around extra you can take these kind of spatulas but if you don't have these kind of spatulas you can use any spoon even you can use a toothpick anything that comes handy just use it you just need to take out the powder for me it's a spoolie I'm just gonna run it all over this eyeshadow palette like this and it is going to do this into a powder now next step is to take out that powder and just tip the you can take any pot if you have or anything just tip out all the powder that you have onto this palette do you see this can you see the powder on now the next step is to take a concealer better to take a concealer that matches your skin tone for me it is this one which is the fit me concealer by maybelline uh, in shade caramel 40 i'm going to take this one just at one side not exactly over the powder obviously just take this out on one side not a lot i'm just putting out the product if you guys can see this this is the eyeshadow and this is the concealer okay I will mix this with a spatula you can take a brush whatever you have so I will just take this color like the orange color gently and start mixing it with my concealer so I will keep on mixing it with the concealer till I get the desired shade all right this is now a peach color corrector this was the original color of the concealer and now I have made this so I have made it made a completely different shade just from a concealer and an eyeshadow palette disclaimer you can also use an orange like food color I've seen people do it I have not tried it but you can do that okay so now I'm just going to start taking it under my eyes I will take it with the same palette to be very honest just see it's all there I still have a lot of this left so I will just try to apply it everywhere but first let me just blend this out and show you so I'm taking a clean brush so that you guys can see the difference okay so let's start to blend it out I'm just going to tap it do you see this can you see this color correction is done isn't it like it is a peach one it's a dark peach like I would prefer 
you can make make it lighter like i said that you you choose how much powder you need to add into your uh, like concealer you choose it like add a little bit of powder or more powder it's up to you so you can just crush it in like make the eyeshadow into a powder and then start adding it slowly so that you can see that does it suit or not so you've done it for the under eyes now let me just do the color correction on the rest of the face as I did previously as well and I will just take the brush now to wipe everything from the, this mixing palette. Okay, you can take anything, a pot, um, a lid of something, you know, to color cor to mix these two things. I just really want you guys to see that how you can actually conceal it, uh, color correct it with alternatives like you don't have to go and buy the actual color corrector you can do it with other things as well also if you're looking at my ears please ignore it my one of my earrings actually fell off you can see two here there's only one here just imagine that you can see it okay just just ignore it ignore it I'm trying to ignore it which is very hard I don't know where I dropped it and I'm so angry at myself the post was the post was still stuck at the back but the earring is gone like the stud is gone not the earring the stud is gone so yeah I don't know I have color corrected everything that I wanted to color correct and it is perfect isn't it it is perfectly perfect this works this def this alternative definitely works I mean you have to give it a try first I will start putting foundation on my face okay so just start putting foundation on your face and remember I told you to stamp it on the color corrector if you just just you know swipe it then you're going to mix it with the color corrector which you don't want obviously guys also do check out my skincare videos if you have not already i mean the masks i'm trying oh my god i'm loving them my skin still feels so like fresh and i swear i think my hyperpigmentation is actually calming down so yeah do go ahead and check them out i will do more for under eyes as well a dark circles soon Okay, so I'm back after putting my foundation on my face and as far as foundation goes, you cannot see any orange color corrector over here and hyperpigmentation. I mean, this color corrector works, definitely works. It's all really nicely blended on my face and everything. You can't see any patches or you can't see any powder. It was really nicely uh, mixed in the concealer. So I think everything is very perfectly concealed. Now let's go ahead with the concealer. So for the concealer today, I am going to be using the makeup revolution one which is c12 not color corrected my lids so i'm just about going to put a little on my lids too okay this looks pretty i can even use it as an eyeshade anyways so let's get to go ahead with my concealer as i said makeup revolution conceal and define not hydrate conceal and define and i'm going to apply it on my under eyes so just one small bit here and then one bit here okay again one bit here and one bit here now with a concealer brush I'm to go ahead and conceal this like starting from the inner corner as always there is a hair on my brush is there I can see a hair oh it's on my nose <laughs> anyway so starting from the inner corner from here just bring it towards the center remember don't swipe it always pat 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 everything color corrector you patted it foundation you patted it and the concealer you're going to pat not not swipe it pat 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 okay otherwise you're going to remove the concealer from underneath remember that now pat 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 from this corner and bring it to the center I think I should name myself Patting Queen or Concealer Queen. No? <laughs> okay. Do you see that? I mean, I can't see any darkness. 
the color corrector has worked definitely worked hasn't it let's go ahead with this eye oh wow i mean wow this color corrector has definitely worked i mean i absolutely love my under eyes don't you they look perfectly perfect i mean wow they look great don't they so this alternative is a thumbs up for me as well you can definitely try it now let me go ahead and set this whole thing up <laughs> and i will be right back so i thought i will come back after doing my whole face and i did it and oh my god i love this the the color corrector the alternative is fabulous i mean i am even going to use it like i have such a big eyeshadow palette which i use a very like less i've used it today obviously because it was out so i thought i'll use it but um yes i can use it to color correct i will try to uh, do the as i said the uh, food color thingy as well i will try to make a video of that was i'm not sure that if it's going to stain your under eyes or not but i will try it for you guys for sure uh, this is definitely good i absolutely like it this works oh, yes this is absolutely perfect eyeshadow mixing with a concealer definitely works do mix it with a color concealer that matches your skin tone remember don't do it with a lighter one otherwise the shade will go very light which you don't want okay so this is it for this video guys i hope you liked it i hope you liked this part i am going to do a couple more i i think if you have any ideas if you want me to try something do can let me know in the comment box below and i will definitely try it out and if you have been watching so far then please do subscribe as that helps me a lot and uh, yeah i will see you in the next video very very soon till then take care guys stay safe stay happy and stay connected bye bye Love you.